Happy birthday, Bubba. I hope you're having a great day. And thank you for joining me. This is Penny Hallgren from quiltblocklibrary.com. And today, in honor of Bubba's birthday, I'm going to demonstrate how to sew this candle quilt block together. It also goes in the Halloween quilt, but you can do it for Christmas or for a birthday or any special occasion. So let's get started. The pieces for this quilt block are already cut out. And just to give you a little clue, I've chosen these piece, this fabric because uh, red is Mr. Bubba's, the color of his car, and of course yellow needs to be the color of the candle's flame. But these two other fabrics were fabrics that I used in a quilt when he was about 010. Um, so I thought that would be kind of fun. But obviously you can change the colors of the, of the fabric that you use and it'll change the, the theme of your quilt. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the bottom and I'm going to sew these two pieces on the sides. And this is pretty easy. You just line it up and sew. The next pieces I'm going to need to sew together are the whole candle section because this comes together and then these two side pieces get sewn on. So the next step is going to be to sew the triangles onto the candle flame. Now you'll notice that I cut out a square instead of cutting out a triangle because I'm going to use the square as a way to keep my final patch square. So I'm just going to line these up and sew each side on. I've got this first triangle sewn onto the square and I realized after I did that that I probably didn't explain it well enough. And this is a little bit tricky the first time you do it, but once you get used to sewing triangles onto squares it's really a lot easier. This one is a little more difficult because it's an isosceles triangle instead of like a half square triangle. And so it helps if you kind of play around with it. The object is to sew your triangle on so that when you fold it, the, the corner matches the corner of your square and it all lines up. You could do that by drawing. You take your pattern template and draw a line on the square and that will give you a rough sewing line. So once I've finished sewing one square on, then I'm going to sew the other one on. And this one is going to overlap here. My stitching line is going to overlap here by a quarter of an inch so that I've got my seam allowance to go across and attach it to the next block. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The second triangle is sewn on here. And although this sounds kind of complicated and might look confusing, what I really like about it is that, like this one didn't come out exactly perfect, but I, I can use my square as the basis for sewing my other patches on and the quilt is going to end the quilt block is going to end up being the right size. So I'm finished with this and you can kind of get the idea that you know this is the candle and this is the background. I do not cut my backing fabric off of this. And so it's ready to sew onto the center candle piece and all I have to do is fold it down so that it's right sides together and attach it using a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can see how easy this quilt block is because I've already got my candle done, I've got my bottom pieces down. All I need to do is attach these two sides and then attach the whole thing together. So I'm just going to take this and fold it down. This one I am going to fold my seam allowance going down just because I've got a bunch of seams going up. So I'll go ahead and sew that side on and then sew the second side on. The top part of this block is finished now and all I have left to do is fold this up and sew the bottom piece on. There we go, we got it all sewn together, it's ready to iron. Our candle quilt block is finished now, and this went together so fast, maybe I should make 25, one for each year of his life, or not. In any case, have a great time making this block. I hope this made it a little bit easier for you and showed you a way to make your candle, the point on your candle, a little bit more accurate. Have a great one, and join us again this is Penny Halgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.com signing off. Oops, I almost forgot. Peaceful piecing.